Hello, all you repair-minded individuals. Today we have a bit of a fan favorite, or at least one of my favorite um, issues. As you can see, this is kind of getting blurry. Um, let's here, let me let me get a better shot of the um, <clears throat> of the TV. This is. Pretty common issue with Samsung, the short panel tape method, you know, tape method to fix it, but I don't know if you can see right here, there's a small band, um, a small line that's kind of glitching out as well. That's kind of the cause of it, it's pushing every, every other pixel to, um, or every other scan line to jump up and get down. So, yeah, for this repair, <clears throat> I already have the back open, but to open the back, you're going to need some sort of a spatula. Um, because it is the screwless TV. We also have really all you need for the repair is that spatula and these tools. Got a fine tip, sharpie, some scissors, and some tape. So we're gonna just get right to it. I'm gonna unplug the TV. And as you can see, it has been opened already. I just opened it. Keep it on the edge. And I'm going to flip this around because we're going to be focusing on the Panel side of the TV, so the bottom. You might, you might say the bottom of the TV. So, I'm just gonna grab everything, bring it over here. So first things first. Um, well, we're gonna need the cable again, because the goal is to after removing the speaker, right, speaker, anything else? The goal is to, um, and the speaker is actually helpful, so we might put it back on, but we want to get it out of the way for now. The goal is to fix um, the connection from here to there. So, uh, let me get some gloves on and we'll get started. All right, so this is not completely screwless. There are a few um, screws we need to worry about for the What's it called? The um, man, what is it called? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. Like for the for the stand, you know, this is where the stand kind of pops into. So keep that safe right here. Gonna do the same thing on the other side. Hopefully. Here, maybe unplug this cable for the um, whatever that is. The oh my gosh, I'm drawing, I'm drawing blanks today. The Wi-Fi antenna. 
that's that's what it is okay so this i think is a little bit trickier to take out i mean we might use this pry tool to kind of get it out of there helps us out a little bit and we don't have to fully remove it so I'm just gonna keep it there and now um, this this is useful to remove it is it is good to remove this actually hang on <laughs> before I do that I should probably unscrew it We released a short recently, actually, that has me fixing one of those, but it came in like that. I, I promise you, I can assure you. I, that a little bit to the side and this is all one piece this is a 55 inch I believe um, so we're going to start the end use this pry tool gently we want to be careful not to damage the actual panel um, I think here here and here and now we're good to go we can take this off Put it right there and now we can get to work so let me zoom in a bit so this is actually kind of a, a little interesting to me normally I make the the shorts and the long videos separate but I'm gonna try something new today we're gonna try to make one out of, I'm gonna make both a long video and a short video out of this, because this, this is one of my favorite repairs. So, um, yeah, we, we have this, um, we have the, um, have these and we just want to uh, the, the, on the panel we have a um, these ribbons that we want to undo and we're gonna take basically so here's how it works somewhere um, this side and this side, which translates to this side and this side of these ribbons. So starting from this is pin one, this is pin one for the left panel, for the left ribbon. So we want to count to pin number 12, or 13 through 20 actually. We count, count through 12 and then the next pin, which is 13, and the next eight after that. So 13, pin 13 through 20 from this side. 13 through 20 from this side are what we want to um, really, th that is, that will fix the problem. If we cover just one of those, um, it will find the line that we saw in the, uh, at the bottom of the screen, there was a line. And we'll, when we cover that, that line, um, will be covered that that line will not um not have a signal if that makes sense because basically the way it works is there's um this chip is, is working really hard and there's several scan lines i mean it's a 4k tv so it has so many lines of pixels to go so many pixels and i mean so many lines horizontal rows of pixels and so um we um 
there's there's eight different clocks, so it kind of divides the work into eight different clocks. And if you cover one of them, then you know every let's say you cover the first clock, you know the first one will be missing, and then the next seven are there, and you know so it just kind of every eight lines there will be a missing line. Um, and I will say the other side of the panel kind of picks up the work, but um, the results are kind of varied. LG, I find, look a lot better after doing the tape method than Samsung, but also Samsung, it tends to happen a lot more. So we're going to go ahead and um, instead of counting, we have it already measured out. This is specifically for Samsung, by the way. So we have it measured out. I'm trying to make it so you can see this. I should really make sure I can see this. So we kind of just do that and um, one of these. So we basically, we have them measured out <clears throat> both sides. So I'm going to make a prediction that the side at fault, the um, side that's causing the issue is the left side, because that's generally what I, I find, but I, I could be wrong. So we're going to, um, We are going to go ahead and try that out. So we're going to start off by just cutting a little piece of tape, um, trying to cover, you know, all eight pins, preferably on one side. We need a huge piece of tape. So we're going to start with the left side. I'm just cutting off a tiny itty bitty piece of tape. Go to the left side and just cover some pins. Hopefully that is what we need. doing this blind, I have to stand up and check it, check out what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm just going to look 
at the bottom. See our progress. Awesome, okay. So yeah, this is what we wanted. Um, is this long enough? Oh, you know what, we can just turn it around. And I'm going to show you, it is no longer flickering. It is quite exciting, but there is one problem. So it is no longer flickering, but I don't know if you can see, but it has lines now. So it is stable, but flawed. So let's just show this. The bottom is flickering as well. So that is an improvement. And that is not the solution, <laughs> if that makes sense. Basically, by covering the left side of the panel, we are um, isolating which half we have to work on. So now we know that the, the problem lies within the left half of the screen. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and unplug it and go back to our little setup. And now we can focus on the right here. a sip real quick. So yeah, we want to unplug this um, cable again and really look. Um, we want to remove that piece of tape because we, we don't want it there. We don't want every single, um, you know, we don't want this whole half covered. We want only part of it covered, if that makes sense. We want to isolate it down to the specific area of concern. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom in once more. Oh, too far. Okay, so now we're moving on to this, this section and we want to take a look. Now this, um, this side, we don't have a general rule for. We don't have a, oh, just cover pins 12 through eight. This side is a little different between different Samsung TVs. So so 
so it is um, a little bit trickier, but we can do a little examining and see, um, you know, look for a grouping of what we think might be like eight pins. Um, like for instance, these, these really big, thicker lines, um, those are uh, no connects. Or, um, sorry, no, they're not no connects. They're, pro they're most likely ground because ground tends to be thicker. So we don't have to cover ground. I mean, if we, if we count, it's probably not from here to here. It's, it's probably not these two thicker lines and the, the, the couple of thinner lines in between, because that doesn't really make any sense. We want to look for a grouping of eight or more. So I'm going to cover these, these, and these. So, we're going to try that. Um, I'm going to try my luck at the middle, uh, or maybe I'll, I'll do the side because this piece of tape is just perfectly sized for that. Although I doubt it will work. Um, I, I think it's probably the middle if I have if I had to guess or the the largest section it's either the middle or the largest section I I can't really believe that it is the section that we just covered so I'm gonna take a look underneath see how things are going and we're actually looking pretty good might have been wrong on that. Yeah, on the right side, on the right side of the panel, I do not see any. Um, I so, let me just. Uh, yeah, so basically we're not we're not seeing a line at all. We're not seeing a jumping line. We're not seeing a line at all. We are seeing reduced quality. And maybe even um color issue, I'm not as sure, but we are not seeing the line, we're not seeing any jumping, maybe like a, a white line, but yeah, it's, it is looking good. I do want to just, you know, get a better look, so we're gonna, I'm gonna show you what we're dealing with, what we're working with. So, this is where we're at. And I think it looks quite good. I think it like looks quite good. I think it looks a lot better. I think the lines are a lot less noticeable. This side we're getting more lines, I think, than that side, which is totally to be expected. I also think maybe there's a little bit of blur, but I, I could be wrong. I don't know, you'll have to tell me in the comments how the picture quality looks, so yeah. We're going to keep at it. Um, I, I do want to get a little picture of this a little video. So we're going to. Put that back down. 
and try to isolate it even more. So we're in the right direction. We are in the, we're going in the right direction. So just gonna get a shot of this. Oh, actually, no, it's right here. If you are a content creator, do not, I repeat, do not get a iPhone with storage less than 128. Hell, even 256 is pretty low. I think you need half a, half a terabyte. Because I have a, I, I made the stupid mistake of buying a 64 gigabyte iPhone 12 mini when it came out. I love this phone. I think it is so cute. This thing is so cute. You know, it's like smaller than my hand, fit in my pocket. And, you know, I don't like the big phones, but I should not have gotten the 64 gigabytes of storage. That is just not enough. Anyways, um, we want to go back here and what I like to do is mark off where it works. Mark off the, the pin that, that I have discovered is the problem pin. So let's kind of zoom in a little bit. Um, oops, too much. Okay. Maybe that's a little too much still. So I just want to get in there and make sure. Yeah, so right there should be good. We're gonna take this piece of tape off. And get a new little piece of tape. And we're going to make it a little bit smaller this time. Just a little bit. And I mean, we're, we're basically done. We're just kind of refining it. The TV will work now. Uh, and, you know, it's usable. But we want to make it look really good. So we're going to cover it again. And go ahead and see if I can. Get some 4K video without using all my storage. So we're gonna try that. And I wanna make sure I didn't miss a pin. I'm kind of slightly off. It's normally when I do this, I have it right up close to my face, but I don't wanna Get it so close that y'all can't see what I'm doing. So there, that's a little bit better. We plug it in. Maybe get a little footage of me plugging it in. And repeat the process, see if we got <clears throat> any progress or if we back tracked, back stepped. Um, so where are we at? I see a blue screen. Uh, 
I see a blue screen. All I see is a blue screen. So I don't, I think we backstepped. Anything, nothing. Okay. That's fine, so. What that tells me is that we went too far. To one side, we, we took off the pins that, um, that mattered the most, so. We're gonna repeat the process and Unplug this. We're going to go ahead and we're going to just use this tape again. And instead of covering the right side, which uh, we're going to cover the opposite end. So. Possible I also didn't plug it in right because it was kind of having symptoms like I didn't plug it in right rather than because uh, it was just getting giving me a gray screen which generally means I didn't plug it in right. Oh no, I hope I didn't break it. What is going on? Okay, I'm gonna try it again the other way. Or uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover some different pins. I am skeptical of it being these this side because it just makes the least sense to me that it would be that side. And I'm hoping I did short the panel or you know destroy a chip in the panel by plugging it in wrong. Okay, we're gonna try covering all the pins again. Uh, 
on that side that, um, that we originally covered and see, did we just get lucky the first time or is, are we onto something? Okay, so we're gonna try that. Hopefully we didn't break anything. Unless this is something I, something else is unplugged. Oh, you know what? For some reason, this is unplugged. That is the reason, oh my gosh. That, that is quite embarrassing. The <laughs> I really should have checked that sooner, but this this was unplugged, meaning this wasn't getting a signal. And if either of these are unplugged, you will run into that problem where the whole screen is blank. So actually I'm you know, I'm not sure that this is necessary. We're going to go ahead and go back to our other strategy of covering just one side. Or, um, you know, covering a, a fewer amount of pins. We're kind of trying to narrow it down so we can isolate the exact um, signal that is, that is not in our best interest. So let me check how we're doing. Yep, we're good. And we are jumping. Are we jumping? I don't know, it, it kind of looks worse. I think it looks worse. So, I'm gonna go back. To the drawing board, go back to here, and just cover the opposite side. Reassess how we're doing. So much better. So much better. I don't even really see many lines on that side. This side is perfect. Yeah, so we, we're narrowing it down. We are narrowing it down, so just gonna keep repeating the process. I don't want to make this video too long, but we are getting there. We're getting really close to the outcome that we want. We go ahead and mark our new minimum. And I'm going to cut a little tinier piece of tape. Tiny, tiny piece of tape. So I'm covering only three pins at this point. 
we want to narrow it down to one if possible, but gonna again check our work. It looks even better. I just want to make sure it's not jumping. And no, it is not. It looks practically 100% clear. There is a bit of a line I'm seeing, but it, it looks almost perfect. I do want to see if we can isolate this pin. And um, I'd also like to mention, I'll say it again and I'll show you, but power saving mode for Samsung, energy saving, eco solution, whatever you want to call it, it will, it, it can prevent this from happening, or at least it can stop it from happening, um, you know, as, as quickly as it is known to happen. Because if you, if you watch your TV, very often, I mean, it's, it's best to invest in a very high-end TV that does not have this issue. Which, I mean, this is, this is a high-end TV, but, you know, I would, if you watch a lot of TV, I'd honestly recommend an LG OLED. Um, but just be careful about burning or a Sony TV because Sony has the, the best quality, in my opinion. I think, you know, I mean, all TVs are going to go, go bad eventually, but Sony, I think, you know, most of the, the problems are like, honestly, most of the time, honestly, it's mainboard. But the panel lasts a long time. Backlights, you know, last a long time, obviously, with proper care. But just in general, you want you want some power saving settings. You want an auto timer to, uh, yeah, that, that didn't work, so it's not that pin. I'm just covering one pin now, so the far pin, that was not it. Um, but yeah, you want the power saving settings. You want backlight reduction. If you're on max backlight and you're in a you know darker room, I mean, First of all, that's not very good for your eyes. And second of all, it's not very good for the TV. Okay, so we're covering just two pins, and I want to just get that on the short video. The, the point of this um, channel, I guess, or the, the point of the short videos is to kind of, um, you know, make it kind of exciting, introduce people to the um, world of TV repair or, you know, we have other repairs planned. Um, and no, that is still jumping. But the point of these longer videos is to, um, is to just have a more in-depth explanation of what we're doing in the short videos. So 
So I'm going to see if I can cover these three again and if that is the answer or what. I could probably do better than this, but it's also good, I think, to sometimes to cover a little bit more for this issue for um, a short panel in case pixels in the future go out down the road because then um, it's already covered. But also, I think the, you know, energy saving, the less heat, the better in the TV because the, the pixels are going to die from heat. So if you have your TV on 24-7 with no auto power off and max brightness, then your panel is going to be short. Your panel is going to short out a little bit. So yeah. This is beautiful. We're going to leave it at this. I think. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the results. This is how it looks. Can't really even see the line. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put it all back together. I'm going to call this a repair and um, I'm going to pause the video for now and when I resume, I'll show you a uh, video. I'll show you the, the, how the TV looks with something playing on it. So, yeah, see you in a sec.